Hello little Wolverines. This is Dr. Rich Markward, your superintendent. A lot of you guys know that my wife and I live on a farm in Geauga County and we have a lot of animals here and I thought that maybe now during this time of social distancing it would be a good opportunity for me to let you catch a little bit of a glimpse into what life is like here on the farm. Let's start by telling you what the farm's name is. Our farm's name is Hingebrook. Hingebrook actually became a name in sort of a funny way. Several years ago, someone was leaving us a note that one of the hinges was broken. And he wasn't a West G grad, so he didn't know how to write the words properly. And instead of writing hinge broke, he wrote hinge brook. So hinge brook, although it started in sort of a funny way, became the name that we stuck on our farm. It's on our kennels, it's on the livestock that live here, and it's just been sort of woven into the history of the place. The next few days, I'm gonna give you a tour of the farm. I'm gonna show you some of the animals that live here, some of the machinery, some of the barns, and hopefully by the end of the week, you'll have a pretty good understanding of what life's like on a farm in Geauga County. So, get ready to take a tour, and welcome to Hingebrook. Every farm needs a good farm dog. This is Bling. Bling is an American bully, her color's blue brindle, and although she looks very tough, she really is a real sweetheart. Her favorite people in the world are my grandchildren, and once they're around, I become a second-class citizen. Home baby. Now we're in my barn office, and with me now is Roscoe. Roscoe's a dobe. Remember I told you that Bling, our house dog, liked to be with our grandchildren more than she liked to be with me? Well, Roscoe, while he likes the grandchildren, he's very good with them, he prefers to be with me. Dogs are sometimes called Velcro dogs because the way they stick to their owners, and Roscoe certainly exemplifies that quality in a dog. He's a very good guard dog, he's very smart, and uh, he was named actually after a, a historical figure, Senator Roscoe Conkling. Senator Conkling lived in New York State back in the 19th century. He was once described by a historian as six feet four inches of conceit, and when I saw this guy and knew how tall and handsome he was going to be, I thought Roscoe was a pretty fitting first name for for him to have. So that's part of his registered name. We're in my office again, and this is Tundra. Tundra's a German Shepherd. She's one of the sentry dogs on the farm, so if anything happens and there's a deer or a fox or a coyote running around that shouldn't be here, she lets me know. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed your initial visit to the farm, and I hope that you come back tomorrow to find out a little bit more about life here. Thanks for visiting.